Welcome back. If you're looking for ways to avoid sugar first thing in the morning, our next guest has you covered. Always. New Jersey native David Cantor, founder, founder of the Folk Revival, has created new and healthier ways to eat breakfast in the morning with hot cereal cups. David, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So, David, you're clearly no stranger to the natural foods industry. Tell us a little bit about your background. Ooh, so I've been in the natural foods industry for 20 years. I've been growing natural and organic brands, sort of startup brands all that time. And before that, studied food and agriculture policy. And before that, I uh, spent a few years running my own organic farm. Um, and I left, uh, I left the industry really to start my own company, which is called Folk Revival, which looks like this. And it's a line of hot cereals that are high in protein, low carb, and made with acorns. What? Stop. Acorns. Wow. Why? How did that, how did that come about? <laughs> Please explain the acorns. <laughs> so so the, the, the mission of Folk Revival is, is all about delivering real functional nutrition uh, by using, by like reviving heirloom and heritage foods. And the, 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 like the hero heritage ingredient in our hot cereal are acorns. And acorns are familiar to all of us, of course, right? We're all familiar with acorns and they're consumed in pockets here and there all around the world, but they're not widely consumed in North America today, but they've been consumed for thousands of years. They have amazing environmental benefits and health benefits, and they're consumed by some Native American communities today, but they're not, you know, part of the mainstream, you know, uh, food system, you'd call it. Um, so we're the first brand to really introduce acorns to the North American market. And absolutely. You can and That's I'm sorry, so I just, interesting. I've known that, I know that acorns are edible, I've known, but I also know as a, I mean, it is a process to make an acorn right. edible. Can you just yeah. briefly yes. kind of explain what goes yeah. into, I mean, I'm, I think it's like you got to like boil them and then roast them That's and then true. grind them. I mean, it's, it's hard. That's, that, it's true. It, it's, uh, they're very like laborious to process. You can't pick an acorn off of the ground or off of a tree and eat it, it would be too bitter. You would, you know, you just wouldn't enjoy it, you'd spit it out. It's similarly to like olives. You can't pick an olive off of a tree. True. You have yes. to process these, right? You have to, you have to sort of leach out all those bitter flavors um, by just essentially soaking it in water and rinsing. And it's pretty laborious, it takes a long time. And um, we have a way to do that so that <laughs> we can add uh, acorn flour, in fact, to our hot cereal cups. That's, That's interesting. So you have different four different flavors for the cups. What are all of the ingredients in them, and how are they beneficial to us as you know, just daily nutritionally? Yeah, yeah. nutritionally. So, so they're the very simple ingredients. There's there's hemp protein. There's hemp seeds, flax mm. seeds, chia seeds, depending on the flavor. Here, I'll hold up a few of the cups. Here, there's like original. There's maple walnut. Um, here's chai almond and blueberry almond. Um, uh, you know, walnuts, pumpkin seeds, um, almonds, walnuts, depending on the flavor. It's sweetened with uh, a little bit of monk fruit to be just l slightly sweet, lightly mm. sweetened. There's no sugar added. And the benefits are, you know, there's really nothing in this category today that, that deliver 20 grams of protein. That's also low carb. Um, and you're essentially eating, it tastes delicious. It cooks up just like oatmeal, essentially like sticks mm. to your spoon, sticks to your ribs kind of, um, you know, kind of eating experience. Um, but it's largely nuts and seeds. That's amazing. Huh. And you, so you had briefly touched on this before. Again, Folk Revival prides itself on reviving heirloom and heritage foods. Um, besides the, the acorn, what are there, what other heirloom and heritage foods are you guys working with? So, so that's definitely the hero. I mean, in our, in our blueberry, uh, in our blueberry almond skew, we're using wild craft, you know, essentially wild blueberries, not mm. domesticated blueberries. So it's very much a, a heritage or heirloom, heirloom food as well. Um, you know, hemp is arguably, you know, we don't think we, we eat it. Of course, it's increasingly found in our food supply, but um, it's really a heritage food. It's been eaten for a long time in, across right. cultures, across, across the world. That's arguably a heritage food. Um, Chia, uh, same thing. Flax, same thing. These are these are ancient uh, ancient ingredients. Yeah, and those those are tend to be the more wide stream 
Whole Foods, right. Trader Joe's kind of products that you're seeing in the stores now I do more the, and more. As like a 90s kid, when I think about like Chia Pets and yeah. what now, like what yeah. we now pay for Chia Seeds, I was like, something's yeah. gone terribly wrong. Yeah, right, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Where can we find more about your products? Where can we buy them and taste them for ourselves? Great, so you can, you can visit uh, folkrevival.com and check out our website. Products are available to purchase there. You can learn more about the brand. You could find the products across the New York metro area, across um, increasing numbers of stores in New Jersey today. And we're rolling out to Whole Foods across the Northeast and across the whole East Coast in January. The brand is definitely expanding. That is incredible. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> David Cantor, thank you for being with us and enlightening that's, us this morning. That I was know. amazing. <laughs> Wonderful. Thanks so much. Take care. So yes. cool. So cool. You, it's like mind blown. I'm, when he said acorns, I was like, what? Hold up. <laughs> yeah, but, but it makes perfect sense. It makes, why would you, I mean, how? think about how many are just in like your yard alone. Right. We, I mean, we have acorns yeah. up to our eyeballs Everywhere. in New Jersey. Yeah. The crunch and they on your are feet. edible. Yeah. Why not? use them. I mean, what a, what a resource. That's awesome. And the fact that they're expanding to Whole Foods. That's the first thing I thought of was like, this needs uh, to this be This needs to Whole be in Whole Foods. Foods. And then yeah. I'll tell you what, it is not an easy task to get a product to into Whole Foods. Yeah. I mean, they are strict yeah. about that stuff. So that's amazing. So amazing. a great Jersey brand to look for. I love it. That's just awesome. <laughs> well, for the latest happening here in New Jersey, make sure to follow the New Jersey Morning Show on social media.